OnScale Solve is one of the many great tools in the ANSYS product portfolio. Useful for someone who is just getting started with simulation because of its ease of use and low cost. With OnScale Solve's modern user interface and intuitive workflow, you can tackle real world problems with mechanical, thermal, fluids, and modal analyses. Let's go through a couple examples to understand the benefits of engineering simulation. Let's start with a structural simulation. Moving to the OnScale Solve interface, we have brought in a model of a wrench. When designing parts, we may be interested in reducing weight either to save costs, increase performance, or to improve usability, such as in this case of making the wrench lighter. Where can we remove material without adversely affecting the design? Instead of building prototypes and testing them, simulation allows us to efficiently look at different options very easily. With OnScale Solve, we can quickly apply constraints and run simulations. Let's run a simulation on the initial design. For any product, the location of peak stress may or may not be intuitive, so simulation can confirm or provide us insight to location of critical regions. Here's another wrench design where material has been removed, and there is a cut on both sides. While the stresses on the new design are higher, notice that the peak stresses on both parts are well below the yield stress, which is the stress at which the part would fail. The model with the cutout saves material while still maintaining structural integrity. Simulation can give us quantitative results in comparing multiple configurations to help us make the best engineering decisions. Let's take a look at another type of simulation study in OnScale Solve, modal analysis. Modal analysis determines the various frequencies at which a structure will resonate. In this example, we have a simple enclosure. Let's assume that the enclosure may be operating in an environment where it may experience sustained vibrations at low frequencies, and we'd like to avoid excitation at resonance as much as possible. After running a simulation, we see the first four natural frequencies and mode shapes. Notice how the vibrational motion can be visualized and animated as it indicates how the structure may respond when excited at that frequency. Let's assume that the enclosure's fundamental frequency of 170 Hz is too low for our application, and we need to increase it. The modal frequency can be increased when you have ribs lining the floor of the enclosure. See the modified geometry here. Let's run a simulation on the new design and compare the results. Checking modes 1 through 4, we can see that the presence of the ribs slightly increases the frequencies, especially the first mode, that will help to minimize any vibration amplification to the components inside. Additional changes to geometry or materials can easily be considered in OnScale Solve in order to arrive at an optimal design. As we've shown in these two examples, Engineering simulation allows engineers to perform trade-off studies. We can add or remove material to see how that affects deformation, stress, and vibration. This concludes the lesson on using OnScale Solve for simulation studies. In the next course, we will go into more depth covering the ins and outs of OnScale Solve.